Hey guys, I am Averil Shrivastav. I graduated from Bhila Institute of Technology Durg in 2014 batch and I cleared gate with a rank of 179 in CSE branch. Uh, today I am working with Microsoft as a software engineer and I work on Microsoft Azure. Yeah, you have cleared the gate. Congratulations. Now you are going into a top college like maybe IIT, triple IITs and all. So you have three months in your hand and you don't know what to do with this three months, right? So I am here to suggest you a few things which will help you not just only to get ramped up for the next two years, but also uh, with the career aspect, it is beneficial for you. So there are a couple of things which I want to share with you. So first thing which uh, I'm going to suggest you is uh, focus on your coding skills. All right. So what do we mean by coding skills? I'm not talking here about learning multiple languages at a time. I'm not focusing about the syntax and all those things. I'm talking about the basic concepts of the object oriented programming like inheritance, polymorphism, functional uh, inheritance and all those things. So these kind of aspects you need to focus on. Why I'm telling you this? Because uh, once you enter any top college like IIT, uh, there are definitely you will be getting many assignments uh, on the basis of your uh, coding skills. All right. So definitely you need to apply all your knowledge of this uh, data structures and algorithms into that particular assignment with respect to different practicals which you're going to handle. So to get a good grasp of it, I would recommend you to learn many uh, of these aspects like uh, polymorphism and abstraction, data abstraction and all those things. Uh, you should practice all those things uh, using any particular language. Uh, maybe you go with C++ or maybe you go with Java. Uh, the language is definitely not a barrier here, but try to stick to the languages which are middle level languages like C++, Java, uh, C Sharp and all those languages. I'm not recommending uh, languages like Python why? Because it's an abstract layer over uh, other languages. So when there is a layer of abstraction, you generally don't bind to the actual uh, core essence of that particular concept. So that's uh, hence I recommend you to go with a conditional language like Java, C++ and all. So coming to the concepts, so what kind of things you can practice? So there are multiple sites online which you can find like geeksforgeeks.com and uh, uh, other sources where you can code like hacker rank hacker earth these are really good platforms to uh, you enhance your coding abilities so definitely you can uh, tackle different type of problem statements available there so just giving you an example you can try dynamic programming you can definitely try uh, uh, resource optimization programs so those kind of coding skills you need to acquire why I'm telling you this? Because once you tackle any assignments uh, during your uh, uh, basically the semester, so you will be facing problem statements which will definitely require these kind of solutions. The so solutions I mean is the dynamic programming, uh, the resource optimization, the OOPS concepts you need to apply. And definitely you need to uh, make use of different data structures like stacks, queues, linked lists and all those things. So to enhance your coding abilities, these all skills are required. So Geeks for Geeks is definitely a very good resource to learn all those things. And definitely uh, there are several books available uh, with respect to the object oriented uh, uh, programming. And you can follow those. So another thing which I want to uh, brought up to your notice is uh, you should change the way you think about programming and how it is a very subjective thing, I know, but definitely you should do that. So what do you mean by changing your thought process about programming is now since we are already a graduate from bachelor's degree, uh, we have done some kind of programming, but according to what I have in my personal experience, what I have observed is the level of programming which we have done is not that up to the mark uh, with respect to which uh, anybody is not basically ready to go into a top institution. So to change your mindset, uh, what do you, I mean by that is, uh, try to think a problem statement in a very natural fashion. What do you mean by a natural fashion is like think the problem statement as a real life problem and try to think how you're going to tackle it in the terms of what data structure you're going to apply, what coding uh, particular practice you are going to apply, what kind of optimizations you're going to make and stitch all these three things together so that you write a really rich code and which can be uh, basically uh, good for your evaluation and it's having a high readability factor as well. So it will not only just help you in writing good code and uh, getting those uh, assignments cracked in your uh, college, 
but also it will help you further when you enter a corporate world. Also, with respect to the corporate standard, your thinking will improve. Uh, what do you mean by that is, uh, when you tackle a problem statement uh, in a corporate world, right? you need to focus on different key areas. There are several key areas like code readability, code reusability, uh, the module which in which uh, the module pattern in which you have written the code, uh, what is the basic design, and what is the performance aspects of that particular code. So all these aspects also try to cater these things while you write a good code. Okay, uh, there are several aspects which are not covered during our programming skills, uh, which are uh, testing, the performance, and the optimization. These three things also try to focus on. And how you can do is definitely you can go in geeks for geeks uh, take up a particular problem statement, try to solve it uh, via brute force method, then try to optimize it via different optimizations algorithm available uh, uh, with you. So in this practice, what you'll learn is uh, there will be a churn, a churn in the sense there will be a good cycle, a healthy cycle which will be developed in this particular scenario. What will happen is uh, when you write a brute force code, right? you don't think about what you just basically focus on the end result like what you need to get as output you don't uh, think like what kind of payload this particular code can handle so once you optimize the code right uh, you are more over thinking like if suppose the payload is really high that means the output uh, the input to the program is really big then how your code will behave in that scenario once you optimize your code your uh, basically, your code will be able to handle a good amount of data as well. So in that aspect also, you need to focus like how you can optimize your code and all those things. So this is a very important factor because uh, once you go into this mtech cycle, right, you won't get much time to learn these things uh, when you will be given the assignments because the assignments are very deadline critical. And at that time, I don't think there is sufficient time to learn all these concepts. So I would definitely recommend you to use this three months in really good fashion so that you are super ready for uh, all your uh, good mtech coding duration, right? So yeah, definitely it will help you further. Yeah, that's all I have.